Okay, we're going to check for a, a high fret. Um, I've noticed because the string buzzes out on that, which I'm guessing is this fret here. See that? Rings, 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 buzz. I'm going to double check this. Uh, to the eye, they look almost, well, they all look identical. Um, the way to check is to use a sort of flat surface. You can buy expensive ones from Stu Mac, or you can use an old uh, neck plate. Now, I don't know whether this is precision straight, but it's an, enough for perps. I've used them before and uh, had fine results. So I'm going to just pull the string out, place the, the, the rocker on there, and I don't know if you can already, you probably can't see, but you can hopefully hear that that rocks. That indicates that this one here is indeed a bit too high. I'm just going to put it on the ones next to it. And as you can see, I'm not getting any rock out of it. There's perhaps a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Try the next ones along, and there's absolutely nothing in that one. There's no, no movement there. A tiny, tiny bit there too, perhaps, but that definitely has a lot of rock to it. So there you go, that's how to check for high frets. Don't just rely on your eyes. Okay, given the fret a, a rub down with a small needle file, uh, the main advice there is to go in very, very small increments so that you don't overdo it. So um, this is the fret that I've rubbed down here. So if I fret this one, hopefully we won't get any buzz now. There you go. Sounds good to me. It might need a bit of final polishing down really to make sure it's super smooth after using the rough needle file and a bit of sandpaper. But there you go. As you can see it's uh excuse the wobbly cam, but as you can see it's all done.